This next story is right out of a movie. A priceless piece of artwork stolen 37 years ago from the University of Arizona Museum of Art is now on display at the Getty Center in Los Angeles. Reporter Emily Miranda found out more about the restoration of the stolen painting. No. Not only is this a story out of a movie, it will be the subject of a documentary called The Thief Collector, which is expected to be out later this year. The Woman O'Kerr painting by Willem de Kooning has been estimated as worth $160 million. It has been at the Getty Center in Los Angeles for the last three years undergoing restoration. Senior conservator Laura Rivers spent more time than anyone else working on it. What was intended to be a relatively short-term project because of the lack of studio time we had to undertake during the pandemic, the project stretched to almost three years. De Kooning painted the piece in 1955 to explore the female figure. In 1958, the painting's owner, Edward Gallagher, donated it to the University of Arizona Museum of Art. In 1985, it was stolen. This sketch shows the alleged thieves who ripped it from its canvas. Curators think they rolled it up, hid it under a coat, and walked out, causing this extensive damage. 32 years later, a New Mexico antique dealer bought it for $2,000 at an estate sale in New Mexico. It had been hanging in the home of two school teachers who died. We know it was stolen in 1985, and then in 2017, it was hanging behind the bedroom door. Um, anything that happened in between, you know, we can only make assumptions about it because we, we truly don't know for sure. Some of the antique store customers recognized it as a de Kooning, and so the antique dealer contacted the museum in Arizona. The museum shipped it back to verify originality. I was, I was pretty well convinced that it was the painting, but after seeing it perfectly line up with its edges, that was really all we needed to know. Surface. This was the most fragmented paint surface that I had ever worked on, and it was at the same time the largest and the smallest jigsaw puzzle that I've ever participated in, that I've ever worked on. You can see how the team first reattached the lifted and flaked areas. Conservators used specialized solvents to remove the discoloring from years of applied varnish. A new lining was attached and reunited with the original canvas. This team finished by painting in the damaged areas. The painting goes on display at the University of Arizona Museum of the Art October 8th through May 20th. After, it will move upstairs into the permanent collection gallery. In Los Angeles, Emily Miranda, Cronkite News.